I'm going to tell you which skin type is meant to use this face cream that it's worked for and the skin type that it's not going to work for. I'm going to be telling you what you are doing wrong. I'm going to let you know if you are using it the wrong way. Hello everyone, welcome back again to another episode on my channel. It's your girl Lovelyn and if you're joining me for the very first time, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome as well. If this is the first time you're seeing this face, please kindly hit on that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified, okay? So today we are going to be talking about face cream. Um, if you've been looking for face cream to use on your face for a particular skin type, please don't hesitate to watch my videos, the previous videos I made about this face cream for all skin types or best face cream to get rid of pimples, dark spots and all uh, facial issues. So I've made um, I've made videos about face cream but this particular one today I just want to specifically talk about a particular face cream. Yes, because this face cream is quite popular and so many people are using it they don't even know if it is the right face cream for their skin type because this face cream is not for all skin type it's for different skin types so i'm going to be telling you guys about this face cream and i'm going to be explaining to everyone um, which skin type is meant to use this face cream okay so um before we before we move further please if there's any particular product that you want me to talk about if there's any particular skincare product that you want me to give a review on please let me know in the comment section and i promise to do just that today we are going to be talking about goji berry face cream this is the face cream we're going to be talking about okay so the reason why i want to talk about this face cream is that it is a very popular one so many people are using it and they are complaining that it is not working for them and i'm going to tell you why it's not working for you I'm going to tell you which skin type is meant to use this face cream that it's worked for and the skin type that it's not going to work for. I'm going to be telling you what you are doing wrong. I'm going to let you know if you are using it the wrong way. Because this face cream is nice if you use it the right way. So I'm going to tell you what you are doing wrong with this face cream. So this is the face cream I'm going to be talking about today. Goji Berry face cream. Okay, so um, first, this is Goji Berry facial cream. You guys can see it. It's quite a popular one okay so it contains a uh, hyaluronic acid retinol and organic botanicals it is paraben free and fragrance free you know one thing i like about this face cream is the fact that it is paraben free and fragrance free which means it is completely safe 100 percent safe for the skin it doesn't have any it's not going to affect you you guys know that fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis so with this face cream you don't have to worry about itching on the face you don't have to worry about redness on the face because it doesn't have any ingredients that is going to cause you redness or cause you itching on the face brands free which is really a very nice one it is paraben free which is also good so um this is an anti-aging hydration formula it is an anti-aging face cream so it has nothing to do with whitening it has nothing to do with lightening so that is a fun fact about this face cream so if you're buying this face cream and you have it in mind that oh i want to lighten my face i need a face cream to brighten my face then you are wrong this is not a whitening face cream you can see it clear, clearly written on it that it is an anti-aging face cream and trust me it doesn't contain any ingredients that has anything to do with whitening so if you are using this face cream and expecting whitening then you are wrong because even the company made it clear this is a moisturizing and anti-aging face cream it completely has nothing to do with whitening so before you move further if you are looking for anything whitening then this particular face cream is not for you it doesn't do anything like that okay so i'm going to read what is written on the product so they said the inspiration of the product is from the medla which has powerful ability in resisting oxidations and shows the new breakthrough of skincare and contains high malaya medla with organic herbal essence which contain moisturizing and anti-aging ingredients times of moisturizing effects contains vitamin a resisting oxidation and is capable of resisting wrinkles moisturizing and firming skin with fast absorption due to its non-greasy properties okay so this is what the company said about it so this simply means that this product is for anti-aging if you are experiencing wrinkles on your face if you have wrinkles 
or you have um your face is looking older it's not looking exactly your age then this face cream is good for you retinol is a very good anti-aging product so it's going to help you a lot in terms of wrinkles and in terms of your face looking older than your age so that is one thing this face cream does and it's also a very good moisturizer it's a very good face moisturizer so if you have been looking for a face cream to use as a moisturizer and you haven't been able to come across any good one then this particular one is a very good option okay so I'm going to tell you the skin types that are supposed to use this face cream if you are the type of person that you have dry or flaky skin then this face cream is for you but if you are the type of person that you have a very oily face run away from this face cream do you know why because this face cream is very very oily it is not good for people with oily face the reason is because it contains a lot of oil and if you have oily face already and you apply a face cream that is oily on your face it might end up clogging your pores and causing you pimples causing you to break out so if you have oily face please opt for another face cream so this face cream is totally off for people with oily skin so if you, are, if you have oily skin don't use this face cream that is the only time you complain that is giving you pimples because you have oily face and they are still using something that is oily so that is one thing about the face cream then if you have very dry face no matter what you use your face still looks dry looks older than your age if you have um discoloration on your face your face some part of you have patches on your face and this face cream is for you it is good for people with dry skin and this is good for people that has wrinkles if you are looking for a good anti-aging product or anti-aging face cream please opt for this face cream it's for anti-aging it is not it has nothing to do with whitening it will not whiten your face and please some people have seen some people complain that after they use this face cream it made their face go darker their face very very black if you are using this face cream please make sure you use sunscreen before going out else it is going to darken your face if you use this face cream without using sunscreen it's going to darken your face that doesn't mean that it contains any harmful ingredients but because you are supposed to use sunscreen so and i think it's because of the retinol it contains maybe that's why it does that but not that is harmful so if you are the type of person you are looking for a strong whitening face cream don't go for this face cream don't waste your money because you are not going to get the result that you want because it's not going to whiten your face this face cream is going to glow your face it is going to glow your face extremely well it's going to make your face look younger it is going to make your face very very smooth if you are the type of person that you can be patient and another thing about this face cream is that if you have if your face is already damaged you have a lot of issues on your face sunburn like you've damaged your face with skincare product this is a very good face cream that you can use to repair your face if you are the type of person that you've used a lot of face cream that contains steroids you can use this face cream to repair your face but don't expect fast action and please as you are buying this face cream buy a sunscreen along with it if you cannot buy a sunscreen along with it then don't waste your money it's only work for you when you are using sunscreen unless you don't go out on the sun if you're the type of person that you are working in an environment where you always go under the sun don't buy this face cream but if you are working in an environment where um you don't always go out of the sun this face cream is very nice forget people complaining this face cream is a very nice face cream that's what i have to say about it it's only those that are used to bleaching products that will complain about it because it doesn't do anything like bleaching all i have to say about goji berry face cream so if you have tried this face cream and it's good on you let me know if you have not tried it and you might want to try it just watch the video carefully and then you know if you're supposed to buy it or you're not supposed to buy it and for those that are complaining that it is not working the reason it's not working for you is because it's not a whitening face cream and again maybe you used it without sunscreen that is another reason or maybe you have oily face that is another reason aside that this is a very nice face cream please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and don't forget to encourage me always and see you all in my next video bye